Attention. Please let us have your attention. What's going on? You know it is Mr. 13, another big UK artist. Work tea. Pleasure to meet you, bro. Nice one. Yeah, man, obviously, we've just been repping for quick time right here, yeah. man. Doing Quip your thing. Live music. Sick album. Yeah, I mean, uh, respect to that. So, yeah, man, how did the whole collaboration come about? How was you and Brit? Oh, he just hit me up. Yeah, man. yeah, just sent me a message, sent me a beat. I like the beat. I mean, I like what he was doing. So. Well, that's that's easy. how it needs to be in the UK, easy. isn't it? Yeah, Definitely, man. All right, so obviously you've been doing this this whole thing, like this UK thing, a minute, man. How do you yeah. feel like the scene's like looking right now, man? Obviously, you've got artists like Quick Push and Groove. Yeah, I mean, kind of. Sometimes it makes me feel like I'm on the outside of it because yeah. there's a whole new wave of people coming through. So that's why when a good artist like him comes to me, it's the same with Flip Tricks, who's my who's my good friend now. He, he hit me up in the same way. Yeah. We did a couple of the tracks and it just progressed from there. I just think we've always got to show love to who's coming up because that's the future of the scene. So, you know I mean, I don't look at myself like I'm any, anything big, but it's just like, you know, I know certain things. I've got certain connections and I'm able to, you know what I mean? Help people out of it. Yeah, yeah well, it's not even help people out. I mean, if anything, they help me out because I think that's the way you've got to stay relevant. It's fresh, yeah. 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 Um, just to embrace the new talent coming up, so if there's any way I can show love for them to do it, that's kind of my philosophy. That's refreshing, bro. That's refreshing because I feel like a lot of people don't feel that way, and they're like they've got yeah. a certain thing they don't want to share it, and that was there. Yeah, no, we need we need to. I mean, it's the same as it ever was. We need to come as one force. I mean, that's why it's nice to come here and see. All the featured artists on the album, you know, people like Kaiser, Iron Braves, Genesis, Saliza, people that like myself have been doing this for a while, and they all come through, they're in the crowd supporting, you know, we're all making noise, throwing our hands up, you know what I mean, because it's, it's, it's good for us, I think they're all telling you the same thing, when you've got someone with talent coming through, it kind of energises you as well. Right. So yeah, other other than Grit, obviously, is there anyone else that's like like you said inspired you in the last couple of years come through in the UK? I mean, I'm I'm kind of out the loop to be very honest with you, but um, it's more it's more when people have hit me up. So I mean, as I mentioned, Flip Tricks, when I first looked him up, he didn't have his album out yet. I just seen him live. He likes what he's doing. He sent me a beat. I liked how he worked on the track. So. Yeah, he's someone. He's kind of like with the live shows that kind of re-energized me because we started doing little sets together. Yeah, yeah. And um, but there's there's a lot of good people coming up. Like my my brain's fuzzy anyway. But, right, right, right. Yeah, there's. You know what I mean? As far as like the, the battling thing as well, I know yeah, you've yeah. got into that as well. Does that like give you a new energy as well? Like, yeah, that's just, kind of just, of that's that's just a challenge. Yeah. I mean, I think I like a lot of people when we watch the jump off battles back in the day. Yeah. There's a few MCs that we liked. There's a few things that we laughed at, and you know, yeah, yeah. not in a not looking down on it sort of way, but just it was entertaining. Yeah. And a lot of people took the piss out of it, but me, I enjoyed it. And I've, I've always enjoyed watching battles. Obviously, back in the day, there was freestyle battles that just break out all the time. Like, I remember FK or Raw at Subterranean back when that was going. Like, there's a lot of watching Chester P in the real battle, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? It's, it's nothing new, but I like the way the written battles now, it's, it makes it interesting. Because for me, I can freestyle, but couldn't let me, freestyle battling wasn't really my thing, so the written format made oh, let me challenge myself. Cause, and it's hard because if you watch my battles, you, you can see it's hard to remember that shit. And, uh, so it's just another challenge, and I'm going to keep doing it. Just to, it's helped with the live thing as well because it's a whole. When you're in a circle of people, the camera with a big light in your face. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's that pressure yeah, kind of edges you up. Yeah. But no, I've enjoyed it. And you see people like Jokers, people like Wordplay, Nishi coming through, the artists that want to get into the battle yeah, thing as well. Cause it keeps you hungry and it keeps you sharp. Yeah, as far as the whole UK game in itself, like, what's your biggest pleasure and pain in the game? Like, your biggest high and low of the UK thing? Like, um, the biggest pleasure, like, it's just things like I recently did Outlook Festival out in Croatia, oh, nice, nice. and that's just like it's realizing that the music does reach, even though the sales don't yeah. always um, show that, yeah. they don't always reflect. 
how far you reach and when you actually get out there and perform your shit to people and see people yeah. working along yeah. and then and then they, they want to buy your albums because they ain't got any of it yet but they know your shit before they've even bought it so that's that's a pleasure yeah. the pain of it I don't know it's not really a pain but it's just an ongoing struggle because you've always got to fight to stay relevant like you can't just you can't just be like oh I've got an album with Harry Love I've worked with this person that person you know because that's only relevant for the time the album is out. You've got to keep proving yourself. So it's a pain, but that's a pain I like. You know what I mean? I think pain is something to take as a lesson. So it's just letting me know not to get too carried away with myself. And I think that's what the battling thing did as well. It humbled me. Yeah. Because I realised, look, I'm a new guy coming into the battle. Field. So I guess the pain is a positive, bro. It's just, you know what I mean? It's what keeps the hunger going. You know what I mean? All right, but well, yeah, you got anything coming up soon that they need to know about? Obviously, you mentioned the battle that we're dropping soon. Yeah, me versus DPF will go up on the Dunk Flop YouTube channel soon. It wasn't a judge battle, it was just us having fun, like someone that's been in the game just as long as I have. Um, then the Serious Games, that's my new album, it's dropping on YNR. Fully mixed artwork done, barcodes back, it's going to press next week. So hopefully, if it's not out by the end of this year, we might have to hold it back just with. You know, the labels got their, not label politics, but you know, you got to have the funds available to start shit out. But um, if it don't drop by the end of 2010, it's definitely coming out early 2011. Oh, no, about Serious oh. games. Alright, that's a day go, man. Well, thanks for taking a minute yeah, to no slide, problem, bro. Man. Nice off for that, man. Over and out, bro. See you, Mr. Fame.